With Think Cell Suite, you're already creating impactful presentations at speed. The latest upgrade, Think Cell 14, combines a set of powerful innovations with increased velocity and heightened versatility. So however you work with PowerPoint, Think Cell Suite works for you. As well as adding new capabilities for efficient layout adjustment and flexible ways to reuse your content, we've enhanced how you can build Excel-driven reporting in PowerPoint and given you a wide variety of visualizations for your insights. These new features are all available within an optimized overall ThinkCell experience. ThinkCell's aim has always been to make you more productive. The latest additions to ThinkCell 14 do just that. By automating some of the more time-consuming steps of slide building and helping you adjust layouts more efficiently. Let's see how. If you have a ThinkCell chart, you now have more control over its position on the slide. You can choose between the outer chart area and the inner plot area when aligning your chart with other elements. So, if you tweak your chart, adjusting the slide layout is quick and precise. When you build a slide, you won't always know your final layout before you start. With ThinkCell Swap Tool, you can switch the positions of two elements with a single click. This lets you quickly experiment with different slide layouts and precisely reorder elements with ease. Another new tool lets you rescale shapes. If you need to adjust a layout, you can now easily change multiple objects at once. Font sizes and shapes will stay in proportion, and your slides will stay balanced and visually consistent. When building your slide, you can easily combine ThinkCell tables, charts, and other elements with native PowerPoint shapes. You can group objects to move, swap or resize them together, and quickly rearrange the layout of your slide. Since its launch in early 2025, the ThinkCell library has helped you jumpstart your presentation creation by giving you instant access to your PowerPoint repository. ThinkCell 14 expands on this, giving you more flexibility in how you reuse your content. When you insert a slide from your library, you now have the choice between keeping the original source formatting and adapting it to the destination formatting of your current deck. Say you're adding a success story from a major client. Choose source formatting and you keep all the original branding, colors, and layout, respecting the customer's brand identity and avoiding manual redesign. What about visuals? The ThinkCell library already has millions of icons, but sometimes a little customization goes a long way. With one click, you can convert an SVG icon into shapes you can edit. Make any adjustments you like so your icon is a perfect fit for the needs of your presentation. If you don't need an entire slide, but you want to use a map, chart, or other branded element from an old presentation or a dedicated folder, you've got this option too. You can insert just the shapes from a slide and fit them seamlessly into your existing layout. Data is at the heart of every great presentation, but not everyone works with PowerPoint the same way. That's why ThinkCell 14 enhances your Excel-driven PowerPoint reporting. You now have more control over how you manage and connect the data behind your charts and tables, whether it comes from an Excel spreadsheet or whether you prefer a PowerPoint-first approach. While you've always been able to link your ThinkCell charts to Excel files, what if you could manage all the data for an entire slide from a single location without even having to leave PowerPoint? Now you can. Imagine you're building a yearly performance review. You might have a slide with several charts or maybe even tables that all draw from a master data set. Instead of juggling different Excel files, you can have all the data for all your visualizations in a single slide data sheet. Essentially, this is like having a fully functional Excel spreadsheet within your PowerPoint slide. This means no more worrying about connecting huge Excel workbooks to your presentation and potentially exposing irrelevant or sensitive data. We know that for many of you, your data lives in Excel and you already use formatting to highlight insights or provide context to people viewing the spreadsheet. With ThinkCell 14, we've tightened the sync between your presentation and your data, adding a number of features that make it easy to replicate your Excel formatting in PowerPoint. Firstly, we've given you more options when inserting tables from Excel into PowerPoint. 
You can now choose to keep the same cell formatting or copy the tables as a pixel-perfect image. Either way, you're in control, and the tables are linked to Excel, so you don't need to worry about updating your presentation if your data changes. How you manage your Excel links has also improved. You're now alerted and can easily update a data source when there's a change to a linked file. And when you're ready to share your presentation, our popular cleanup tool now includes the option to remove all data links and slide data sheets, ensuring your deck is secure, sanitized, and ready for distribution. We've also expanded support for Excel's conditional formatting rules. Think Cell 14 recognizes color scales for data ranges, rules that reference other cells, and even formatting based on text and dates. One small change, but one with a big impact, is we've removed the 100% row from the default datasheet layout for Think Cell charts. The majority of datasets don't need this row, so this will give you a cleaner workflow and cut the clicks needed to build your Think Cell charts. Your audience needs more than just a chart, they need insights. Think Cell 14 gives you more ways to visualize your insights by expanding the annotation and chart options to cover a wider range of data scenarios. We all know charts are great for telling stories and highlighting trends, but sometimes you can't beat a table for showing your data with maximum precision. A new option in Think Cell 14 lets you pull out a series from your chart and show it perfectly aligned in an accompanying table. You can now convert a chart series to net lines. Use these to highlight trends and deviations or to compare expected and actual values. For example, a sales manager can quickly add a net line to show the net income or quarterly targets on a sales performance chart. This helps the team easily understand the projections. Our value lines have also been enhanced. You can now choose to show either the arithmetic mean or the median with your auto-calculated value line. For many datasets, the median is a more useful benchmark because it's less impacted by outliers, like Black Friday sales or website traffic during a viral event. To make it possible to emphasize the ranking order of your categories to your audience, we've introduced ordinal axes. For example, if you're presenting data to show the importance of your hero products for profit margin, you can order your chart from highest to lowest. With an ordinal axis, you can further underscore the contribution of the top performing products in your portfolio. With ThinkCell 14, you can now add more trend lines for scatter charts, including quadratic, cubic, and quartic trend lines. More options mean you can accurately visualize the patterns in a wider variety of datasets without the need for separate calculations or workarounds. To support the new capabilities, ThinkCell 14 also optimizes the foundations of the ThinkCell experience, providing more hands-on guidance where you need it and making default behaviors more intuitive, further streamlining common workflows. We've added helpful in-product tips to ease the learning curve for new users and to guide experienced ThinkCell users through features they might not have seen before. Part of ensuring visibility is integrating our new and existing features into one seamless product. This includes updating the ThinkCell tab and the mini toolbar to ensure everything is where you need it and the most valuable actions remain easily accessible. That was a quick introduction to the most important changes in ThinkCell 14. You can visit our What's New page for an overview of all these features and more, and you'll find detailed instructions in our updated user manual. Thank you for watching.